a look at how China's air pollution problem got so bad and how we go from here. Sixteen of the twenty most polluted cities on earth are in China. Its major cities often are blanketed by a thick layer of toxic industrial smog that's spewed out every second by the factory covered landscape. The impacts of these widespread pollutions are causing enormous consequences for China. Exposure to significant pollution and the health effects it has on citizens are examples of such consequences that China is struggling with. But where did all of this pollution come from? Why is it such a problem? At the heart of China's air pollution crisis is the country's shift in environmental value brought about by its booming economy. Economic prosperity has become China's top priority dating back to the Mao Zedong era. Mao Zedong was famously known for his man must conquer nature ideal and strongly believed that nature's sole purpose was to be used for economic development. This emphasis on industrialization, also commonly referred to as China's great leap forward, propelled the country into the economic system known as market socialism. To maximize economic potential, Chinese citizens began flooding into major metropolitan areas. To accommodate for such an influx of residents, Chinese industries started increasing their production dramatically. Eventually, some industries moved out of these urban areas and placed their factories throughout rural China. Exasperating this environmental issue is the disproportionate impact air pollution in China has on the upper and lower class. Impoverished rural communities located near mining sites suffer greater rates of health effects due to air quality than their more financially sound counterparts. Not only are the poor disproportionately exposed to pollution in cities, they face the same adversity in rural communities. China's largest contributor to both economic standing and environmental degradation is the coal industry. Major coal mining industries mine in the undeveloped rural areas of China, often placing their factories in close proximity to communities living in poverty. Thus, exposing these people to major environmental degradation and putting them at risk of health effects due to pollution. All coal mining in China is supposed to be done by national companies, but since coal is so highly valued, private and illegal coal mining companies have also begun to get in on the business. These two are located in rural China near impoverished areas. The seemingly disproportionate disposal of pollutants on these marginalized communities has serious health effects on the people living in them. China suffers from both local problems and uh, global environmental challenges. So the combined uh, impacts of climate change and uh, local pollution are uh, causing enormous uh, consequences. Respiratory illness is common among Chinese citizens, especially with the poor who have limited access to preventative measures to air pollution. Ultimately, we are forced to believe that this is an environmental injustice being imposed upon marginalized communities in China.
。哦哦，连上棋都不上棋。嗯，连。是从棋读西棋来的，不上棋。那那他的哪儿不棋？就是支气管炎，就是支气管炎。你得了就，冬天就乐，就厉害。夏天怕那还比这湖里还空气好些，在家里就聚的厉害，在房子里就聚的。Although China's air pollution continues to be a major problem, increased education and awareness have led citizens to launch anti-pollution movements. Lack of government intervention on the problem has incentivized Chinese citizens to protest the current environmental standards. One example is the environmental protest that occurred in China's Sichuan province in 2012. Villagers of this area were moved from their homes to make way for a massive copper smelting plant. These villagers' homes were destroyed at the end of 2011, and as of the protests in July of 2012, they had yet to be compensated by the government. Having realized that their current way of life is extremely risky, China has since begun to take measures to prevent and reverse the effects of air pollution. Some of these measures include the creation of air pollution research programs, the creation of a national air pollution monitoring system, and the implementation of environmental infrastructure. However, these are long-term solutions that are unable to fix this very immediate problem. With an already flourishing economy and increasing environmental awareness, perhaps China is on the way to becoming a more sustainable state. Utilizing green technology and sustainability practices China is taking the first steps to counteract the damage they have done to their environment and their people.